Ladies and dudes, welcome back to another episode of Rosewood Outdoors. Here we have a Apache 9800. I'm just going to cut straight to the chase here. This is a hard case, a hard rifle case that I picked up from Harbor Freight. And right now the going price for one of these bad boys is right around 170 bucks, which is not bad. So this dude is a pretty close knockoff of a Pelican 1750, the protector long case that they've got. And that guy will run you about 330 and change. So it's pretty much right on the money, half the cost for one of these guys. This guy measures in right at about 54 by 16 by six and a half or so on the outside. And it comes with all the features you typically expect from a case like this. Watertight, airtight, dust proof, impact resistant they say. And of course it comes with the foam. It's got four latches on the outside, two places to put padlocks if you're so inclined. And of course right here, you've got a little pressure equalizer vent if you'd like to, to equalize the pressure before you open it up. It's got the main carrying handle right there on the front. It's got another smaller handle on one end and then wheels on the other so you can roll it around if you're so inclined. Let's open this guy up real quick and get a look at the insides. So as you can see this is what I'm going to use to carry around my 24 inch AR build. It fits the whole gun. 24 inch is quite a long barrel so it does fit in this case, so that's a plus. So I've also got slots for four magazines, and then these two are perfectly sized to fit 20 round ammo boxes. And then I've even got a slot up front here for my Walker razors. The foam that it comes with is already divided into little half inch or so cubes, and it comes with instructions on how you're supposed to pick it out. I think I got some pretty decent pictures of it. So basically you lay out your rifle, whatever you'd like to insert into the case, Trace it out with a Sharpie or so. I was a little concerned that a Sharpie wouldn't show up, but it showed up just fine, as you can see here. And then basically you remove all the foam inside your pattern and test fit it a couple times. Make sure you don't have any stragglers that need pulled. Just a word of caution, you can always take more foam out, but you can't add more back in. So I'd start smaller, test fit, and then work your way up to the full size of the object that you're trying to put in the case. Just in case you went a little overboard on your trace, better to have to try it a couple times than to have to buy a whole new set of foam. And then the final result, everything's snug. I've already taken it on a couple trips. Nothing moves around, nothing rattles or shakes. And up towards the top here, you see I left myself a hearty little spot right there for a suppressor, which I've already done the paperwork for and everything. Just waiting for the government to tell me that I'm not a bad person so that I can have it. If you've watched any of the videos on my channel before, you'll know that I have not shown this gun yet. I actually just got it back from the machinist. I had some work done on the upper. Hopefully I'll be zeroing it and getting it on the channel here soon. It's a, uh, like I said earlier, AR platform, 24 inch barrel. I've got a Vortex Venom and I've got my Magpul PRS light on the back there. I've got an AIM surplus single stage trigger in there. If you've never heard of AIM, they've got a pretty good website, but I'm actually local there, so it's real convenient for me just to run in and grab parts when I need it. But ladies and gentlemen, don't think the fun stops there. They've also got this dude, an Apache 2800, which is the smaller version here. They advertise for handguns and such other smaller objects. Same thing, it's got the pick apart foam in there you can make your outlines with. Now this one I don't have fully set up yet. I'm gonna use it for my GoPro stuff. I got you guys right here. You're uh, right in the tripod right now, but that's where you'll go later. I've got my Eagle Scope Vision, can't remember the name, scope cam right there. Got my GoPro battery charger, and then I left some extra room to throw in my other junk as needed. And this guy right here is running for about 35 bucks at Harbor Freight right now, so. The closest thing that I could find on Pelican's website that compares to it is either the 1150 or the 1170. They're pretty similar. The 1150 looks a little bit similar in shape and it is 53 bucks. The 1170 is 63. So again, you're a little, you're just over half the price on one of these Apaches. 
So I got a little bit more breaking in to do before I can give you guys a full honest review of them. But my first impressions after a couple weeks here are that they're pretty quality for the price. Can't say that they're better than a Pelican, but definitely for half the price, this is what I'd go for if you're not too particular. And uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a little bit of a shorter one, but just wanted to get to the point and be done with it. So I'll see you in the next one.